right, so why are we talking about frankincense? Well, in the 10 years I have been with Zoterra, they have always offered a 200 PB promotion in the month of December. How many of you guys are excited? Misty's excited, she's, she's um, raising her hand and shaking and everything. Free frankincense. I'm getting, it's a $93 value that you get for free for 200 PB. And by the end of this class, my hope is you will understand why that is such a great value and that maybe that's one, that's one thing that you want to consider is um, making a 200 PV order this month to get your free frankincense. Now, um, I'm going to share testimonials at the very end. So if you guys can be thinking, maybe jot down, maybe if you've used frankincense, um, jot, jot your experience down so you can share it at the end of the class. Um, if you have never tried frankincense, then maybe jot down one way that you can use it, that you're going to try to use it when you when you have your frankincense, okay? Um, because we want to make sure that we start using our oils as we go. All right, are you guys ready? We're going to go dive into the king of essential oils, frankincense, okay? This is going to be an amazing trip. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the history of frankincense. Um, and where we see it. So frankincense um, was often traded as commodity, as money, as, um, as um, currency, as they were trading spices. And it, um, often the frankincense trees were along this route. This is called the frankincense or spice route right here, okay? And it was um, very prized and you'll understand the health benefits of frankincense and you'll understand why they really, really wanted it. But historically they used it, Babylonians, the Assyrians, they would use it oftentimes for incense, for religious ceremonies. So they would burn it, the resin. Um, the Egyptians, they would use the resin. I have some resin here. I'm gonna actually show you guys in just a minute. Um, but they would use the resin for perfumes um, and things to make this, the, the skin nice and smooth. Um, they knew the benefit really quickly um, with, um, with frankincense. All right. Oh, I totally forgot. I was going to totally record this. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to record it. All right. So um, as we're going to learn next week, um, if you got your ancient oils kit collection, you have a frankincense in that. Um, but we're going to explore a lot more about the essential oils in, of the Bible. Um, I think we go over at least 10 to 12 different oils in the class next week. But frankincense in particular appears in the King James Version um, 17 times. Now, the reason I say the King James um, Version, this is the oldest translation when they first compiled the Bibles. So this was the King James Version. We now have a lot more updated um, Bibles that have been retranslated into common language. And when you do that, you, oftentimes things get left out. And so when I taught this class, and Carrie can, and Tom, they can attest to that, when I taught this class down in Florida um, last month, or was it, yeah, I think it was last night, last month, um, there were some verses that we looked up in their Bible that did not show frankincense. The King James um, Bible did. Okay, so we just want to make sure that you kind of know that distinction, but um, we know that anciently they used it for incense, and so we can look in the Bible how many times, it's 113 times, that they mention the word incense, okay, and oftentimes that is applying to the frankincense and myrrh, spices like cinnamon um, and um, galabom, those type of things are also heavily mentioned in the Bible. Um, as well. All right, so let's move on. All right, this is um, the, okay, so I was watching a show. Have, have you guys watched The Good Wife on the Hallmark? <laughs> Let me see if there's anybody that's a Hallmark fan. I am a huge Hallmark fan, and for my birthday, my daughter got me a subscription to um, the Hallmark channel, and one of my favorite shows to watch is The Good Witch. 
And I like that because she's into natural things. Like that's what makes her so different from everybody initially is she's getting these herbs and these incense and she's making these essential oils and she's handing it out to people. And one of the very first episodes that they, the movie they did is she talks to them, um, I think it's in season six. So they did movies and then they did an episode. They started doing episodes. And in, I think season six, um, she talks about do, giving this guy Boswella tea. Um, and she talks about the benefit of the tree and how it helps with inflammation in the body. And um, it turns out he has creaky, creaky, um, painful joints. And um, anyway, so I just thought that was funny. I caught that because frankincense comes from the Boswella tree. So I knew she was talking about frankincense. And, um, and that was just so cool, like for me to like, to hear that and we're like, oh, there's a show that's talking all about this. And um, that was really cool. So on the screen, you can actually see what frankincense looks like. I'm gonna actually, I have frankincense in my hand right now. This is the frankincense resin. And what they do is they actually, um, I'm going to see if I can see my screen on here because I can see all your faces, but I don't see mine. Okay, so they actually cut the tree and it kind of bleeds, it bleeds or oozes, okay? They score the tree and out comes a thick um, sap, like that's what it basically is. And it, when it comes out after a while, it hardens in what they call frankincense tears, okay? So the frankincense tears come like this and they, they come and they collect the frankincense tears and they come in all sorts of colors and sizes. I have some really small ones here. I have some really big pieces here and they collect them and then they have to sort them. And I've got a little video that shows you how they do that in just a little bit, I'm gonna show that. But I had a friend who was serving in the military and she was stationed um, over in Saudi Arabia and she got me some frankincense. <laughs> she knew I was an oil junkie and she got me some real frankincense. So I've had this and I have really, really enjoyed showing people what frankincense look like. So when, when they brought frankincense to the baby Jesus, it was probably something like this. You know, it could have been um, put in olive oil, you know, so he could, you know, extract it, um, the oil that way. Um, but most likely it's, it was probably something very similar to that, okay? All right, let me go back to my screen here. All right, so we've been using frankincense for lots and lots of years. You can see um, a lot of people would actually suck on the resin. Okay, I actually did this, you guys. <laughs> I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what frankincense resin tastes like. It's like a rock in your mouth, guys. This is really old frankincense. <laughs> so it's, it wasn't anything special. But, you know, we're going to talk about it. Um, a lot of people would actually just suck on it and they would get some, a lot of the benefits of the digestive health that way. Um, we're going to talk about some other reasons in a, just a minute on there. All right. So even today locals will get the frankincense and they will suck on it and chew it like gum. Okay, it's kind of a weird thing. This one, it'd be a long time to, to chew on this <laughs> before it got soft enough for gum. But I'm sure if you got the, the more fresh one, it would have to be that. So they do that to help support their immune system and aid in digestion. And we're going to break down the chemistry of frankincense in particular, and you're going to understand a lot more on how great frankincense is, okay? All right, so doTERRA is a little bit different than any essential oil um, company because we don't just distill just one um, species of frankincense. So part of this was, um, you got to understand that there are a dozen different types of species of frankincense trees, and they're found all along that region that I showed you on the spice trail on there. But there are only four species that actually produce true um, frankincense oil, okay? And what doTERRA did, I think some of it, they did it because they wanted to get the best frankincense and oftentimes they would come in and frankincense would be mixed in <laughs> all the different species 
and it would be really hard to try to pull out what species was what. Um, I think they also look for the co-impact sourcing. How can they um, have these Frankenson trees because they grow for thousands of years, these trees, um, and they want them to continue to thrive for thousands of years and be able to use it and not harm the trees and get enough oil. So that's when they came up with the four species um, to produce the finest, purest frankincense that you're going to have. Because there were some, like the um, sacra um, species, um, had really high um, content in there and did certain things in your body. Whereas maybe the cardi, um, cardi I can't say that now, cardiorelli, that one maybe had different uh, components in there. And thanks, Diane, for laughing at me. I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys know I get nervous and I get tongue-tied. I love watching your guys' expressions. I love it. Nothing but love. All right. So they combined four. So when you look at your frankincense bottle, and ironically, you guys, I didn't grab a bottle of frankincense um, out in front of me. Um, it will actually have all four of these species listed on the bottle. Okay. So let's dive in and I'm hoping, let me really quickly, I have this um, this um, video I really wanted to share with you guys and I'm really hoping that you guys will be able to see it because it talks about the co-impact sourcing of, oh, come on, it took me a little while to get it to go. Uh-oh, okay, hold on just a second here. My screen. I'm trying to do all this fancy technology stuff. There we go. Can you guys see that? Give me a thumbs up if it say fr uh, frankincense. Yeah, okay. All right, perfect. All right, let's see if this will work. What's in this bottle? I say love. You see, in Somaliland, living is hard and opportunities are scarce, especially for our daughters. But Dotera saw our devotion to frankincense trees, trees that we've harvested for generations. We formed a partnership, and since then, everything has changed. My husband no longer fears corrupt middlemen or poor harvests, because Dotera guarantees a fair market price as well as prepayments. I no longer dread being harassed while sorting the frankincense resin because doTERRA ensures a safe working environment. But most beautiful of all, my little girl is no longer forced to work next to me because doTERRA has built schoolhouses to empower all of our children. This journey of love doesn't end here. Once I've sorted the purest resin, it shipped to doTERRA's distillery in Bulgaria, which responsibly employs dozens of local artisans. Unlike other companies, doTERRA uses organic methods of harvesting and distillation to gently preserve the frankincense therapeutic properties. Then the oil makes its way to doTERRA's state-of-the-art lab, where scientists apply the most advanced tests to ensure the oil's purity and potency. doTERRA has even partnered with over 100 research, university, and medical facilities to find the best applications of essential oils. Ultimately, doTERRA does all this because it cares about your family as much as it cares about mine. What's in this bottle? I say love. That is one of my favorite um, videos ever about the impact you can have by purchasing the bottle. Now, a few years ago, there was a lot of talk about sustainability and doTERRA has been very mindful of their global footprint um, and whether or not they, they can get up, keep up with the demand of the essential oils and, um, and not harm stuff like the tree that lives for 2000 years, you know, and, um, and so one of the wonderful things that they have done is uh, worked on research on um, a convention. They showed a video about this, um, these, I think it was a pair of brothers 
that actually had a frankincense farm. So they were actually growing little frankincense trees to be planted throughout their region. Um, they also have done research on how deep the scores need to be on the tree. How often can you score? How far does the score need to be from the, for the next score so that the tree will continue to thrive? And um, they've also done a lot about, you know, what they can do for those that harvest. So if you watched any of their co-impact sourcing videos on frankincense, the women would, the men would go out and harvest, you know, um, these trees, a lot of these trees were on cliffs, you know, where they're um, hanging out in caves, waiting until um, the resin um, kind of uh, went far enough so they could scrape it off and collect it. And then they would bring that back in and the women would sit there and they would sort the frankincense you know, into different qualities um, and grades uh, before it went to distilleries or, you know, the people who were going to buy it in the supply chain. So they've done a lot to make a big difference and improve those areas. So much as there, there's a hospital in Somaliland where there was never anything like that, you know. They have worked together with the clans there to bring them together um, schools. And, you know, one of the things they did when they went in there was they said specifically, if we we help you get a school to educate your children, you need to have girls allowed to come in and get education too. And that changed the culture a little bit because that's not what they would normally do. They would send, send the boys. So just amazing things that you're doing when you purchase a frankincense bottle, just know that you are really having a global impact and you're giving on that side of the bottle, not just receiving the benefits of frankincense in particular. All right, so what oils work really well with frankincense? So these are just a few of the oils that work well. So we've got our citrus, our lemon and wild orange. We've got peppermint. I think copaiba is like a cousin of frankincense, right? They're both um, what we call enhancer oils, meaning that if you use it um, after you apply another oil, it's actually gonna drive the oil deeper in the, the body and much faster. Uh, and make it work a lot better, okay? So um, that is great on there. And they have the ability to help so many body systems. So I feel like copaiba might be the prince of oils, whereas frankincense is the king. Um, we also have sandalwood and lavender, which work really well with frankincense, okay? All right. I was blown about this. How many, I should have, I should have asked you guys. <laughs> I already showed you this slide. How many products do you think have frankincense in it? How many blends do you think? There's a lot, you know, there is a lot. I was blown away when I started looking at my list of um, blends that have frankincense in, I was astounded. But now I know how, how amazing frankincense is that it does not surprise me that frankincense is in all of these. Peace, console, balance. We talk about the emotions um, part of uh, that. Frankincense can, can provide in the body, very calming. Um, and we also talk about the skin, right? The benefits for the skin. So in blends like Immortel and Correctex, all the skincare items, guys, look at over here, the tightening syrup, the body butter, the um, hydrating serum, all of these have that in there. And then we talk about the internal benefit. When we talk about the science in just a second, you're gonna understand why they put it in DDR Prime and why we have it in our supplements because there's some great benefits for taking the oil in internally, okay? So this I probably think is frankincense is probably in the most blends and most products um, of all, I think um, of that. So there shouldn't be any guess by the end of this class why that they use frankincense so much. All right, so there is a lot of research now um, that we have about frankincense. These are just a few, but there's over, um, well over a hundred and more uh, published studies about frankincense. I'm sure the number has got increased through the years. This was an old graphic that I had a long time ago, um, but you can sh you see that they're studying frankincense. They're studying the benefit of it. They're also talking about uh, the different application methods, whether you're taking it internally or topically, um, and and kind of connecting the dots on what, how much, and 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 how often, and it's going to be really exciting to see 
the dosages get very specific as we use frankincense more and the research comes um, as well. All right, for those of you guys that chemistry, <laughs> it was too long ago since you had chemistry, I'm gonna try to break this down really easily. So you can actually find this um, oil chemistry ebook. It was made by Dr. Hill and you can just Google um, chemistry um, book by Dr. Hill and it will come up on doTERRA.com and you can actually download it. And it's gonna dive into the chemistry of essential oils, kind of break it down so you can understand why the oils work the way that they do, okay? So this is gonna be very rudimentary, um, basic. Let's just put it that way, okay? So I'm gonna just show you really quickly. So all the essential oils are gonna be, um, have carbons in them, okay? And that the way the carbons are structured um, determines whether it is a, a monoterpene or a sesquiterpene. And there's some other um, ones as well, but those are the way that it's structured. Um, the carbons um, are structured um, it's the, that's how we can uh, categorize it. So you get categorized as a monoterpene or a sesquiterpene or the other ones that way. Then you also get um, categorized into function groups, like what uh, molecular compounds present in there do specific things, okay? So that's just what I'm gonna tell you. So if you look on this chart, just real basic, you can see the light purple has the majority in frankincense. That means that it has monoterpenes, okay? And I wanna give you just a little bit of what a monoterpene is and why it's so amazing. So monoterpenes are actually found in most essential oils. Um, they are the smaller size um, and they are uh, much smaller than the sesquiterpenes, okay? But they're smaller. They actually react to air and heat very quickly so they'll break down a lot quicker. And they also have stronger effects in the cell membrane, okay? So when we think of our cell, the thing that protects the cell, you know, is the membrane, right? It keeps the good things in and the bad things out. And we want that cell membrane to be nice and strong and not let anything in there. So what monoterpenes are known for is they're small enough to actually get around the cell membrane so they can interact with the cell. And then there are even um, some um, monoterpenes that are small enough to actually go through the cell membrane and affect and target inside the cell. Okay, so think about that. If I can have essential oils go inside my cell, I can help with a lot of functionality of that cell and how the cell's performing. So that's pretty amazing. So that's just one thing about a monoterpene. Now, Specifically, the monoterpenes in here are in the functional group. If you look at it, most of it is green, okay? These are called alkenes, they're, and they're well known because they end in E-N-E, -N -E, okay? So you can see these are the main constituents in that function group. We've got alpha-pinene, limonene, beta-carolophylline, okay, alpha thuagene. okay? They're all those alkalines. Now, Alkalines are known for their antioxidant properties, okay? And it's interesting to note that when they're used aromatically, they're gonna be very unique fragrances and very pleasant to smell, okay? When you use these um, alkene, alkene um, essential oils, they're gonna, if you use them topically, they're gonna have antioxidant benefits for the skin and tissue. So notice throughout this presentation, when we talk about our skin, like the Egyptians, remember I mentioned earlier, they used it in a lot of their lotions, right? Things to beautify the skin. Now, internally, these um, per particular uh, main constituents, they continue to have antioxidant benefits for the internal organs, okay? So this one is where you get this right here, where it helps with the nervous system. It helps with the digestion. It helps with the immune system. It helps her with reproduction and a circulatory system. And that's when you take that product internally. That's what they're seeing with science on that, okay? So oils that are high monoterpene and alkal alkalines, okay, are frankincense, 
Douglas fir, blue tansy, and wild orange. Okay, so that, those are kind of known for it. So we break it down and find out these main constituents. Alpha pinene has the most in frankincense. So what does alpha pinene do specifically? We know it's a, mono, a monoterpene, um, but it helps specifically in healthy inflammation response and emotionally calming and stabilizing. So we mentioned earlier, right? Frankincense is great for our emotions. We had a lot of blends like the console um, and balance that had frankincense in there, but it's also great for inflammation response in the body. So we also had frankincense in our supplements, right? Our Z Omega, something that we're gonna take internally to help with the body's natural inflammatory response, okay? so. Now you guys can take a nice deep breath. We're done with the chemistry. <laughs> but I really was fascinated, you guys. I wanted you to understand how the main constituents in frankincense perform and how it makes it such an amazing oil for us to use. Now, because we've had over 5,000 years of people using the resin and now we use the essential oil, you know, extracted from the resin, we have years and years of data that kind of show us how to use frankincense. All right, so we talked a little bit. Let's, let's just review some of the stuff that we kind of mentioned throughout. All right, we talked about the skin benefits, okay? Um, reducing the appearance of imperfections. How many of you guys have tried the Immortel that has frankincense in it, okay? One of the things that I used to have side effects on when I was on um, a lot of my medication for that um, RA was I had um, scars from paper cuts even. I just couldn't heal from all the immune system oil, um, suppressant um, drugs that I was on. And I used that Immortel and the scarring, it really helped smooth out um, the imperfections in my skin by using that internally. Uh, or, or, or topically, sorry, topically. So it's really good for the, the skin. Like I said earlier, you saw in a lot of the skincare products. So you can use frankincense with your moisturizer, with your cleansers um, to be able to have that. You can also take it internally for the cellular benefit. We talked about, right, how mono, monoterpenes, they are small enough, right, to interact with the cell. Okay. And so we love that when we take that internally for those benefits, we can have the antioxidant benefit support as well as all those other um, organ benefits from it. Okay. All right. So if you were to just look up frankincense up on doTERRA.com, it will give you a little blurb, kind of some of the stuff that we talked about, but then it's going to give you some generic ways, right? It's going to talk about and helping the skin, maybe with cuts and scrapes or making your skin feel nice and smooth and maybe a glow to your face. Um, we can also take it internally to help with immune system function. So they're gonna have some of the, the basic things, but we can use it all three ways. Um, you can dilute it or you can, um, I always dilute a lot of it. I do a lot of dilution nowadays, but you can do this neat. It's not gonna burn your skin or anything like that. You can do that, um, but Let's talk about some ways we can use it. All right, do you guys have your pin ready? <laughs> I have 30 different ways that you can use frankincense. Lots of different recipes. Get the wheels turning on the ways that you can do it. So no surprise that the very first rollerball recipe that I have for you has to do with immunity. Remember we talked about the alkalines and they're known for their antioxidant benefits when you use it topically. Um, so this is definitely going to be a great oil for it. Um, on guard, um, if you got the BOGO last a month, okay, you'll have on guard right on top um, uh, or already in your stash, and then you can add your frankincense, pink pepper, and then you'll put it in a, a 10 ml roller and then fill it up with the coconut oil, and you can have a daily immunity blend. Let's talk about, we talked about frankincense and copaiba, right? The king and prince oil. Um, you can have a lot of benefit in taking these internally. Um, and so this is just a recipe uh, for you. Um, this can help with inflammation in the body. This can help with discomfort. Um, it can also help with mood as you're going on there. Uh, but this is just a very simple recipe 
Um, the carrier oil that they have there, you um, if you're going to take it internally in the veggie cap, probably like your olive oil, you know, that you can put in the veggie cap to just um, settle your stomach um, if you want to add that. All right, we have the Boo Boo spray for kids. We talked about how um, Immortel has um, has frankincense in it. That's great for the skin. We can also make a little owie spray or, or a boo-boo spray, right? Very simple, lavender, melaleuca. We call that tea tree now. Um, it's labeled now as tea tree. Um, that's what the most of the world recognizes that oil as. And then frankincense, okay? And this is just a great way where you can clean a wound out um, comet. That lavender is actually going to be very soothing um, to the skin. Um, and then frankincense is definitely going to help with um, any discomfort that you've got there. And the tea tree oil is just known for its cleansing benefit um, and great for the skin. All right, we have the best face forward. So this one has to do again with our skins, whether it's acne or redness. Um, I have a lot of people that come up to me and they, oh, I have ro ro uh, um, rosacea on my skin. What can I do? Well, here is something that you can try, right? Get your roller ball out. Use your points for helichrysum, <laughs> okay? Redeem your loyalty rewards points for helichrysum because it is one of the more expensive or get the helichrysum touch, you know, and you can use that. Um, but you can add frankincense and helichrysum and make your own um, roller with this one particular, okay? Just uh, put that where needed on the skin. All right, we have another calming capsule. This one is a little bit different than that other recipe. The other one had frankincense and copaiba. This one has frankincense, um, wild orange, and lavender in it. You can also add cardamom if you get the stomach issues uh, um, that are often in connection with an, an uneasiness, right? When we get nervous or we worry a whole lot, sometimes we have more digestive issues. And this month, cardamom is 10% off, so this is a great one to time to get your cardamom so you can eat, um, add that as well to this particular one. All right, let's talk about um, airways, respiratory support, right? I talked to you about the benefit of frankincense and it is an enhancer oil, okay? So it's gonna help the oils work a little bit more better, deeper, faster. Um, and so this one's a great one you have um, breathe oil and you're going to actually add um, frankincense in there and I would say I wouldn't do more than um, I say um, six to ten drops of either of those in there you could probably go as a little as six drops of each in that one but um, and then fill the rest up with coconut oil okay all right this one has two slides on we have the daily drop Okay, I don't know how many of you guys do this. I heard Dr. Hill talk about this, putting frankincense underneath their tongue every single day to help with all of these issues, clear, clear and focused thinking, immune system focus, uh, joint health, cellular health, inflammation. Um, and I actually do this. I put frankincense on my tongue. I think initially I didn't really care for it. It was like a tree is what it tastes like, to be honest with you. But um, I have, you know, I've, I've had symptoms of RA, I was diagnosed, I don't live with it every single day, but I do have inflammation um, that tends to flare up sometimes. Um, and I've noticed when I started using the frankincense underneath my tongue every day, that that actually quickly dissipated and, um, and lessened. So this is something that's very simple that you can do. Um, um, I do it in my bathroom as I'm brushing my teeth. I'll just do it really quick. That's just how I do it. You can also do, um, um, let's see, this is a pain roller. So the light blue roller is frankincense and deep blue. So it's just another combo that you can do, a power punch when it comes to discomfort. Okay. All right. This is a DIY mud mask that you can do. Okay. Uh, super easy and simple um, to use frankincense, lavender, and tea tree oil on there um, and you can make it into a little clay and then you know be able to to put that on there again for the skin benefit we have an eye makeup remover now honestly i have never used this recipe although it makes a lot of sense um, you can definitely use this um, if you like um, especially if you're um, worried about um, was a crow's feet 
um, lines, fine lines around your eyes. This would be a great way to actually, as you're taking your makeup off, actually support the skin um, with oils that are very healing and rejuvenating. All right, we have the Focus Pocus, the study blend. We have finals coming up. Anybody of you guys have high schoolers? <laughs> so I might be making this for my daughter. Usually she uses adaptive, um, but this is a great recipe. Uh, frankincense, rosemary. Rosemary is um, has lots of studies uh, in regard to memory and focus. Um, so if you are one of those people that needs some additional support, maybe you're getting older in years, we don't like to always admit that we're getting older, um, but frankincense is a great oil when it comes to help supporting the cognitive function. Um, peppermint and lemon on there. So you make that in a roller. And then they just, um, I would say the best place to put that is on the brain stem, okay, where your, your hair comes down and there's a little divot in the back of your head. That's probably one of the best places to do it. You can also have them um, put it in their hands and smell it from the hands. Um, those are uh, gonna be great as well there. Let me see, how, I'm, how am I doing on everybody? Did I lose everybody? I saw Jamie yawning, so I gotta keep, I keep doing. Oh, she gave me a thumbs up. We're good, all right. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are almost halfway there. All right, um, with all of the, the 30 ways to use that. All right, Frank, Franken's Frankly Radiant. Okay, this one is um, got your oil, the Bible oils, right? We know frankincense and myrrh were given to Jesus. It says it in the Bible, right? Well, they're both excellent for the skin, okay? If you ever have those, um, we wash our hands a whole lot. In the winter time, they dry and they crack. I lived in Colorado and that, my kids, they would, their skin would bleed, especially with the soap that they used at the schools. It was awful. And this was one of the things that we made up. Um, we also, we did it in the shea butter, um, but we also did it in unscented lotion as well. Um, this worked really, really well as um, lasting longer with this um, rather than using the unscented lotion. But frankincense and myrrh are amazing for the skin. So if you have really dry skin, this might be something to utilize. Okay. All right, ha get our happy on. We talked about mood, right? <laughs> and frankincense is great for mood. I, the story I wanna tell you just really quickly. So they had a study done, I think I was in doTERRA maybe two or three years when they had this study they did with um, the lifelong vitality pack. And in that pack, you know, we've got oils like wild orange and frankincense and the, the omegas, okay? And they did these, the study, and one of the side benefits that they were noticing was um, spouses were coming back to doTERRA on the survey and saying, oh my goodness, their mood shifted. Like I knew when they took their vitamins and I knew when they didn't take their vitamins. And it was amazing. It was that internal benefit of the oils. So this is a roller. No surprise that it has wild orange in it and it has frankincense. Those are great. We got balance that also has frankincense in there, but you get the power punch of even bergamot in there. Now bergamot is the oil of confidence. If you've never, um, if you had trouble, like you have a big presentation or you're gonna do something that's scary, get your bergamot on, okay? That's really gonna be super helpful. Uh, put in the diffuser, you know, um, again, you're using citrus, so again, be careful about going out in the sunlight, but this is a great one. If you're struggling with winter blues, get your happy on, put it in the, you could even do this as a diffuser recipe, right? Um, just put two drops of each in a diffuser and, and you're good to go, okay? But this is a rollerball recipe. All right, we also have the Magi. So um, we know that frankincense and myrrh were given away in the Bible. Um, a lot of us have made little sample kits um, for our neighbors and friends where we give them a sample of myrrh and frankincense um, and then chocolate gold pieces. And I've got a little card that I used in the time pass that I would sell that would show the historical uses of frankincense and myrrh and the current ways that you could use frankincense and myrrh and just be a little lesson for kids um, during this time of year. So this is just a little way of you doing that, you know, and giving that as a gift to somebody if you wished. All right, we're almost done, you guys, hang in there. We have the Headbanger Blend, all right? <laughs> Again, we know how great it is with inflammation and discomfort in our body, so let's utilize our oils. So this is 
a, you know, instead of just grabbing the deep blue, let's, let's maybe we're really hurt. Okay. I, I hurt my tailbone a couple years ago at leadership and there was single oils were not cutting it. Deep blue wasn't cutting it. But if I combined a whole bunch of oils like Majorum, you guys, Majorum is a powerhouse pain oil. You take that sucker internally with the veggie cap. It is so amazing. You can use it topically too, but um, it has some amazing benefits. So this was just a recipe. If you are having a lot of tension or discomfort and you need some, try the blends, try putting a recipe up in a roller and seeing if it works a little bit better for you. All right, energy. I think all of us need it right now. It's what, what time is it now? It's okay, it's 9.17 here in Georgia. <laughs> Margaret, you probably be like, oh yes, I'm a little tired. But we also have our kids who just never seem to like wind down, right? So if you have those high energy um, kids, this is a great recipe for them um, that you can use, okay? Um, that are gonna help you. Um, Pedigrain and vetiver, you guys know, are super calming um, to the body. Pedigrain is kind of like um, a man's version of lavender, okay? It smells different, it's more herby, but it has a lot of the same molecular con uh, constituents that lavender does. So it's gonna be um, kind of that same thing. So it gives you a little bit. If you know somebody that doesn't like the floral scent, try the pedigrain instead. Um, and then we know wild orange is great with focus. So this one gives you some ideas of some other oils that you can use. All right, so hydrating facial spray. Okay, I can be honest with you guys, I have never used a hydrating facial spray. <laughs> Although you guys, the um, the skincare, the um, Barrage skincare has the toner that is a hydrating facial spray, right? That's what it is, it's a toner with a spray. So this is just a way that you can do that with frankincense. I would imagine this is excellent for sunburn. Okay, it's got the you know, the aloe vera juice in there that's gonna be very soothing to your skin. So this is just something, if you want a way to pamper, uh, pamper yourself, definitely a great way to do it. All right, home spray. So a lot of people have lots of guests that come during the holidays. Maybe you had somebody that was a little toxic come by, I don't know. Um, this is a great one that just clears the air, right? It's gonna, um, it's gonna be wonderful smelling with the balance and the frankincense and clary sage is gonna be kind of very, um, down to earth um, and it will just be a great way to, to spray and give, give them um, a nice fresh aroma in the room. All right, lumps and bumps. So this is just a different roller ball. Um, we had the, the boo-boo spray earlier. This is in a roller ball. So bruises, how many of you guys have had, uh, I have a couple boys that would come home with goose eggs. They would trip and fall and they have the big old bruise on their thing. I will tell you, frankincense and lavender and even helichrysum are amazing. You put that on there right after they get hurt, you're not going to get that big goose egg. Like it will go, that inflammation and that swelling will, will not be as prominent as it would be. So um, especially if you don't want a lot of bruising um, on there, um, it's amazing on that. So definitely you guys get your oils out and, and make a roller or two. Melt my muscle. All right. So, um, Jamie and I, we both are runners, right? <laughs> Maybe you guys aren't runners. Maybe you just started exercising or, you know, we're coming to January and everybody has New Year's resolution, right? We're gonna lose a couple more pounds. So we start exercising a little bit more. So we get a little sore. One of my favorite things to do guys is take a bath with some Epsom salt, okay? And um, you can definitely just use frankincense if you want. You could use deep blue or aroma touch, but why not use your Siberian fur, you guys, that you got from Bogos. And I talked to you about how great Majorum is for discomfort. Um, add your, your uh, Majorum in there. Um, it will make it that soaking, whether you do it in a foot soak, you know, right? You just have a little bowl and just put a little Epsom salt, or if you go and do an actual bath, it is going to make it that much better for you, um, help you relax and help those muscles relax as well. All right, we are almost done. Healthy as mofo. I don't know really what that means. Anyone know what mofo means? I don't know. If you know it, put it in the chat box. I don't know. Maybe this is a millennial thing, but all right. These are just, again, this is an immunity roll, roller, right? Um, Melaleuca, oh, that's what it is. Melaleuca on guard, or, or, oregano frankincense on guard. Okay, it's the, the initials. 
<laughs> this is what it is. I'm like, what is this mofo thing on there? All righty, but um, this is just another immunity one. You could do it in veggie caps or you can also do it. Um, I actually use the flume. So I add, I add lemon in it and I rearrange the letters, right? Frankincense, lemon, oregano, on guard, and melaleuca or flute tea tree oil. Um, but the same concept. We just made this on the video last week, guys. I did that DIY uh, with our roller, um, very close to this recipe. All right, a few years back, we had a roller that was called the One Blend and everybody really, really loved it. This is the copycat because they don't sell the One Front Blend. They did sell the Together Blend um, and all the proceeds of the Together Blend um, is going to the Healing Hands. So you can get that convention oil, but one you can't. So if you really like that one, this is going to be a great oil. It's super calming. Look at this. You've got vetiver and lang, -lang in there. you got Melissa, super calming. Frankincense, very grounding. Another tree oil, Douglas fir, and then a spiced cardamom to round that off. Okay. All right, overexposed. How many? I don't know. Do I, I have some? I have some redheads on here. Fair skin, sunburn. <laughs> Okay, uh, one of my first experiences with oils was with um, with lavender, with sunburns, um, and I had a, a spray bottle with lavender and peppermint, and that was godsend. It really, really helped um, on that. So this one has a roller ball. You could do it in a spray bottle too to help for um, getting there, and I don't do it just for like sunburn. Like if I get a sunburn, I don't just hold it out for summer. Anytime I'm out of the sun in the summertime, say I go to the beach with my family, or I'm out, oftentimes I will come in and I will spray this combination on my skin just to rehydrate my skin, to give my skin some love um, after being out. And, and you know, I, I, um, I blind people because I'm so white. And so <laughs> my skin needs some extra love. Um, and so this is a great recipe for that as well. All righty. So this is some, um, some, loving care that you can do for mamas. Um, I used it after I had my last baby. Uh, it works great. Put it in a little spray bottle and it's going to help um, with any of that discomfort after uh, after that. Okay. All right. Prostate stream team. <laughs> Who comes up with these names, guys? <laughs> All right. Not to leave the men out, um, but here is a recipe to just kind of help with the healthy size, function, and inflammation response. We, we want everything to work really, really well. So neroli, we know is super calming to the body. Cypress and frankincense are very grounding and, and helichrysum has that um, restorative property in there. So this is a great one um, for that. All right. Sleepy time. You guys, after this call, you can use this blend. Don't use it before because y'all need to stay awake. <laughs> but um, frankincense, cedarwood, and bergamot um, are a great ways. So this is a great alternative if you don't like the floral scents for bed. So maybe you don't like serenity or you don't like lavender. This is a great calming, calming blend. Certainly you can um, reduce the, the drops and do one or two of the drops in a diffuser as well um, to diffuse that scent as well. Okay. All right, your key word for tonight that you need is Superman. This frankincense is so awesome. It is not just the king of essential oils. It often has wonderful super per, superpowers, whether it's for skin, inflammation, mood, um, immune system support, uh, digestion support, enhancing. I mean, it's just amazing. So um, that is your key word. So make sure you write that down. Um, this is the Superman blend. Um, this one's going to help cell function. So this is the DDR Prime, which is our cellular complex. This is great for cellular health. Um, if you haven't seen DDR Prime, it does have it in soft gels. You can take that, but there's a lot we could talk about with DDR Prime. Um, again, it's going to have a lot of those alkenes um, and mono, those monoterpene families that are going to be small and be able to go through the cell wall and help the internal part of the cell. Sandalwood and frankincense are, are heavily researched for those benefits. Um, and there are the, some of the few that can actually um, go through the blood brain barrier as well. So thyroid support. So if you need some help with your thyroid, this is a great one. A recipe, uh, frankincense and clove, 
basil, majorum, lemongrass, and myrrh. Um, I know that lemongrass is great for thyroid um, by itself, um, but you have all these other oils in there are, can be very, very beneficial. Um, and this one is a roller, so you would just um, apply it over the thyroid area um, a couple times a day to help with that. All right, workout recovery. Oh, we should be almost done, guys. I think we've done almost 30 recipes. I just didn't want you guys to leave and not know how to use your frankincense. <laughs> so I hope you guys find at least one way to use your frankincense. All right, so this is just another pain, discomfort, joint loving blend that you can make. Uh, Wintergreen, peppermint, lemongrass, majorum, frankincense, cypress again, right? And then deep blue. So this one you can do in a roller ball and just gives you a power punch of a lot of oils um, for that, okay? You can also add it to um, unscented lotion. So you get a little, um, the unscented lotion container and just unscrew it and then use a pipette and then put the oils in the lotion um, and then put the lid on and shake it and you can use it in a lotion form. I know a lot of times when we have large areas like our backs or our joints, um, having it in a lotion form um, may, allows it to easily spread. Be still my heart, healthy blood pressure levels. Okay, so this one gives you an idea of a lot of um, oils that help with circulation in the body um, and nervous and immune system, um, all gonna be have a lot of, of benefit with this. Okay, so if you're one that you're trying to find a regular oil, maybe, you, you know, my husband uses DDR Prime, frankincense, and peppermint almost every day. Um, and that's something that he wants to really focus on is living a long, healthy life. This might be a great one that, that you consider or maybe a few of the oils in here to help with the cell function in the body as well as circulation. Okay, all right, here's your time, guys. I want to hear some testimonials. So you guys heard a little bit of how we've used frankincense, right? Um, um, so if you haven't used it yet, you have at least one thing that you've written down, please, I'm gonna share just a few. Uh, I know we're almost at the hour mark and I wanna respect your time, but let's do about three or four minutes of sharing how you guys use frankincense. So go ahead and feel free to unmute yourself or raise your hand and we'll let you go. I'll go. All right, perfect, thanks. I, I take it internally in a veggie capsule, occasionally, if I remember, and then I diffuse it every night in my diffuser next to my bed for awesome. mental health. Sorry, my notifications are going off. <laughs> All right, who else? I, if you really want a zen moment, you can take the frankincense and some peppermint and cup it in your hands and breathe. Oh, sorry, I got two of them. All right, so you said uh, peppermint and frankincense? Okay, sorry, this is better. Yeah, a little bit of, a uh, couple of drops of frankincense and peppermint and just, it's easy, just cup it in your hand and it's kind of like a zen. I love that, an, I love that a lot. It's an awesome effect, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Anybody else? How do you guys use your frankincense? So I have um, a bottle of lime and a bottle of frankincense sitting actually right beside me because sometimes when it's a long day and technology is not being friendly, <laughs> I, um, you know, it helps. Do it. Just try it. One drop of each in your hands, rub them together and smell it. And you're smiling. It's just immediate uplift. It's amazing. Awesome. Thanks, Ruth. All right, we'll take one more. Okay, I was going to tell you, uh, I had a big toe that I got in a ladder accident, and I had a dead nail bed. And a couple of years later, my daughter-in-law gave me a bottle of frankincense, and I have neck problems, so I just started putting it on the back of my neck every day. And after about three or four months, I looked down at my toe and it was starting. And it would just, as soon as it, was, it would start, it would turn black and it would just get hollow underneath. And it was just, you know, total dead nail bed. And after a few months of using this, it started to pink up 
and I have a perfectly normal toenail. And that's the only thing I did different was putting this frankincense on the back of my neck. So I, I'm a firm believer of frankincense. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sherry. That made me remind, uh, remind, uh, reminded me of my husband. He used frankincense when he sprained his ankle. He frankincense and deep blue. And within that weekend, he was it healed really, really fast. So it has some amazing restorative properties. Um, so thank you for sharing your personal experience. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, I have one more slide to show, I think, and then we will be done. So next week we are doing the healing oils of the bible so hopefully those who wanted the exclusive oils like hyssop or common myrtle or cytus or gallibum uh, you got your ancient oil collection order because we're going to go over the, those oils plus a few more um, in next week's class so you'll definitely want to um, Get it on hand so you can open it up as we talk about those particular oils. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the link for the class to report your attendance in the chat box. Make sure you fill that out and don't forget your keyword. And um, we will see you guys next week. I will stay on for any questions um, that anybody has.